Someone recently entered Joel Osteen's ministries armed with the intentions of harming people. Now I'm going to show you some video footage of the congregation during this altercation. And according to reports, the suspect is now unalive. No matter what the motive was, there's evil in this world. And I believe this is a wake up call, especially for pastors and the congregation. If you are a pastor, you should be preaching repentance and you should be warning people of the things that are taking place in the end times. And unfortunately, many people are going to be caught by surprise. Because while they expecting a blessing, destruction going to soon overtake them. And in the days of Noah, the earth was filled with violence, just like we see right now. And unfortunately, it's going to get worse. We can no longer ignore it. It's time to preach repentance. It's time to tell people the truth about sin. There's chaos happening all around us. As the world gets darker and darker, men's hearts shall become more wicked to the point that they will commit horrific events and believe that they are doing the Lord a favor. We must cry loud and spare not. We don't have time to play with people's souls. Tell your congregation there is a sin problem and the only cure for it is the cross. But take a good look at the days we are living in. What do you see manifesting? Trouble is all around us. Money will not be able to save us. Cars will not be able to save us. Tell people the truth. If you are a pastor, tell them the truth because people's souls are at stake. We are living in a dangerous time. And I'm not saying this to make you afraid because the Lord did not give us a spirit of fear, but power, love, in a sound mind, but something is wrong when events like this can take place and people are still asleep. Preachers should be saying right now, it's due to sin and it's time to repent. How do I know they're asleep? Because they're talking about everything but repentance. They talking about everything but the end times. If you are a pastor, get in the word of the Lord. You are accountable to the most high to tell people the truth. Because while people are thinking blessings are coming, destruction is coming and it's coming fast. And if you don't have on the whole armor of God, it will overtake you like the floodwaters did in the days of Noah. According to the word, the thief comes to take lives, to steal and to destroy. And one of the worst things can happen is for you to be expecting a blessing when destruction is getting ready to overtake you. This is a wake up call. Do you all hear the alarm? It's time to cry out and spare not. It's not about prosperity. It's not about packing out a church. The truth shall make us free. We're living in the days where the world don't believe sin exists. And to make it worse, many people who sit in the church week after week, they treat sin as if it's normal. Don't let anybody deceive you. There'll be many spirits that rise up in the end times, and they will disguise themselves as angels of light. They will tell you you are blessed. They will tell you prosperity is coming, but they will never warn you. Be ready and stay ready. Make sure you are wearing the whole armor of God. Watch and pray. God bless you.